Hello everyone, uh, my name is Remy, you know me as Neon on the forum. I'm gonna show you today what uh, recent addition I've made to the SDK and the engine, uh, specifically about animations and animation tracks. So uh, right now uh, in the engine, when you have uh, an important animation, a bone animation, you can now add some effect tracks and audio tracks. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna get into the detail of doing it by code. I just want to show you how it's possible to do this with the SDK. So I'm gonna load the Sinbad model. Here it is. Uh, everyone knows Sinbad. So as you can see now in the Explorer, you can uh, you can see the anim control and the skeleton control that are attached to this uh, model. And uh, of course, in the skeleton control, you can uh, uh, explore the bones. And in the anim control, now you have all the animations attached to this control. So as you can see, you can double double click on, on uh, an animation, and it plays in the editor. Uh, any animation, anyway. And the the real uh, interest of this is that you can display all the tracks of an animation. So here I uh, just filter out the um, the bone tracks, so uh, check them, and as you can see now, I can see all the bone tracks. In each bone has a track uh, for this animation, and I can see all of them. I cannot edit anything. Uh, it's not a good example because it's enclosed. It's not really an animation more pose okay here it is run base so as you can see uh, you have a length of uh, 0.6 seconds and every uh, you can see here every bone that has a track attached to it so today what I want to do I'm just uh, also gonna add, uh, hide those tracks I want to when uh, Sinbad is running. I want to have some cloud of dust rising from the ground when the uh, the feet hit the ground. Uh, also, I want some footstep sounds when he runs like this. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. I have made some two emitters right here, so as you can see, I can click on emit. Um, you don't see them very well here. I'm gonna move them here and emit okay so uh, as you can see this uh, just uh, some basic imagery with some uh, dust image on it and some color um, what I'm gonna do is to attach those two emitters to the feet of Sinbad so let's do this um, just getting the skeleton uh, tie R calf foot here it is so here I'm gonna right click and get attach node so now I have a node in my uh, structure and I can add so it's the right foot I'm gonna put the right emitter in it all right so I'm just gonna set it to emit continuously as you can see my emitter is kind of messed up right now because um, so I'm putting auto mode in, right? Because it's uh, kind of rotated, and um, if I run the animation, hmm, actually no, not that bad. Okay, it's not really aligned with the foot, but that's okay. So I'm what I'm gonna do is to align it with the foot. So um, that that's kind of easy. Just move here. Here, uh, yeah, I've got to check the top axis. What is the top axis? Is it a blue one? But looks like it's uh, the green one. Okay, like this, like this, and uh, okay, that's fine. Uh, okay, here it is. So my emitter right is attached to my uh, my uh, left foot. Okay, miss. I'm gonna fix that right now. All right, on my right foot, 
and uh, if I run the animation you can see that it's following the, the, the fruit um, nicely. So let's do the same with the left foot. I'm gonna go in my, s in my starting and uh, find my left foot here. there and uh, I'm gonna put the left hand the trainer here it is my left hand meter I'm gonna silence out the this one and display the emitter left at the side okay so now I just have to move this emitter to put in the right place let's say it was dead I did before for the other node, other emitter, and that's it. Okay, so now I can play my animation. I'm gonna of my two, and they are following nicely. So uh, the problem is here is that they are emitting continuously. I just want them to emit all the particles when one foot hit the ground. So that's when I'm going to add an emitter track. So I'm going to set this to zero again. Again, I'm going to stop the animation. And I'm going to go here and add an effect track. So as you can see, uh, it takes the length of the animation by default. Uh, you cannot really have a track that has not the same length as that animation. I can choose the emitter, I d uh, so let's start with the right emitter and for now I'll just let the start offset to zero. Okay, so now as you can see I have an emitter, an emitter track and I can uh, edit here the pro property of this emitter track and especially the start offset which I'm gonna need in a few seconds. So let's play it. As you can see the emitter I the selection box. The emitter is emit is emitting, but a bit mm, too too early or too late. We don't know because the the animation is looped. So, uh, but that's kind of wrong because it's not emitting at the the right time. So I'm um, just gonna change the start offset, and I'm gonna set it to 35, 0 0.35 because I. To be honest, I know the when it should it should be because I tested it before. So here, as you can see now, my emitter is emitting right when my feet my foot hit the ground. So now I'm gonna add another emitter track uh, effect track with the left emitter for the left foot. And here we go. So here it's nice because uh, actually the animation starts with the left foot uh, right on the ground, so setting the setting the offset to zero uh, works fine. So look at this, uh, my uh, Sinbad is uh, running in the sand and making some cloud when he, he walks. Then. I want to add sound, unfortunately my recorder won't be able to record the sound, but trust me, you can s do the same thing with an audio track. So here I'm gonna add an audio track, I have uh, an audio footstep node I uh, added before, and I just have to set it to 35. And now, so that's the part you can't, at least the y you can't hear, but uh, I swear I I hear some sound playing in my mic. Uh, you can test this uh, yourself uh, easily by doing the same tutorial I'm showing you. So I'm gonna stop it because it, that's I can't hear myself. So now I can add another audio track in uh, at the zero offset, and when I play my animation, still can't hear it, but I swear this is playing sound. Uh, here it is. That's uh, about it. That's how you can now uh, edit uh, the, the animations in the editor. Of course, you can save this, close, reopen it, and your animation is still there. <laughs> That's the point of it.
okay and so now in the code you just have to uh, invoke the animation on the animation control as you do usually and uh, everything will uh, pop up like it's uh, it was saved with that's it for today um, I'll make some more uh, videos about what I added recently I have uh, added uh, another couple of things so I hope you enjoyed it, uh, this video and uh, hope that was clear enough for you Bye, monkeys.